minutes straight ahead, a middleweight matchup between Michael Bisping and George Rush St. Pierre. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight for the Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC years. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight. Oh! Blocks the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. I think landed by the two. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, nice combination there by Bisfield. Big leg kick land. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Beautiful leg kick throw. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab when they put this highlight together. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St. P. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. 
Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. The dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I am and what I believe make up standards too high to reach. I'm saying the animal off the leash, I'm in panic, but yet when he brought your hammock to hang with me, grab a hatchet, cut down your tree like a mannequin. That can speak when I'm having stories. All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Israel Adesanya and Paolo the Eraser Costa. Ready. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice. Beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Costa gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Tags him with the left. Slips to avoid the right. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Costa. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes quite... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh, big head kick land. Just misses with that one. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in our first round. This is big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So 31 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. You can't break your will. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Israel Adesanya gets touched by that kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just misses there with the left. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Nice. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Pretty good right hand. Just the way he drew it up 
as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by There is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But if you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that done. He should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. All right, straight ahead, it is a middleweight championship fight between George St. Pierre and Paolo Costa. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We're going to see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at Golden Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Wow, what a head kick! Strong defense there to block the shot. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Right punches there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head 
movement to slip the left hand. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Body kick is blocked. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Look at the turnover in that kick. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upward. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Nice punch land over the top. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing once before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Straight punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, nice jab. Tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut right Beautiful fire. Great punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Superman punch now. Nice slip to avoid the left. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Body kick. Nice punch there. 20 seconds left. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by GSP. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Big kick land. Able to land the left hand there. Horn sound for the end of round one. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Top man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Big right hand. Oh, straight right. Nice punch by Costa. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Barely missed on an uppercut right here with the inside. Well placed kick there by Costa. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. 
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key to anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, big shot lands. Costa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Throwing that jab, no good. Big kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. There's no give on that leg kick. It's a good right hand right there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, huge elbow! Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Oh. Nice leg kick land. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Just misses with the jab there. Punch over the top. Well, he misses with the left punch there. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night that one, it's right on the spot. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Bad. He got him. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Burst of 
by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. And there he is, the king of the 185 pounders, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion, your winner tonight by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called the Southwest Contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC middleweight champion. So we got a new UFC middleweight champion, and this is a title that no one can ever take away from you. He's got a UFC belt at his home for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. And they say it takes a village to build a champion. If you look behind him, celebrating with his coaches, you know that they have all been on this journey for a long time to the UFC championship. Congratulations to him and his team.